All right. Uh, a fatal car crash back in 2018 involving Senator Bob Menendez's wife is sparking more questions in his bribery indictments. Nadine Menendez, who was the senator's girlfriend at the time, reportedly struck and killed a pedestrian with her Mercedes Benz in suburban New Jersey. She was found to be not at fault and is seen in this newly released video dash cam. So the video on the dash cab that we've been showing you, you can see Nadine Menendez there. She was actually not tested for drugs or alcohol at the time when this took place and was released uh, to a friend. That crash is being linked to allegations in the indictment that Menendez used his position to, to benefit an association, uh, associate of an Egyptian-American businessman in exchange for a new car. Yep, a new car to replace the one damaged in the accident. Now, Bob and Nadine Benendez allegedly did receive a brand new Mercedes Benz convertible. Months later, both the senator and his wife have denied any wrongdoing. So that's the backdrop. And, you know, more lawmakers considering challenging Menendez for his Senate seat, but Menendez is refusing the growing calls for him uh, to resign, says the plan is still to seek re election. We're joined now by David Wildstein, David, the editor in chief these days of the New Jersey Globe. We thank you for uh, coming on with us to talk about all of this. And, um, you, know, you know, all about New Jersey politics. Uh, you have plenty of experience in New Jersey, in the political scene, and it can get crazy. Is it about to get even more crazy? Uh, Politico, as I said, calls it a free-for-all to try to replace Menendez. How do you see it? You know, you know Connell, I've, I've been doing New Jersey politics for 50 years now, and, you know, you you think you'd seen it all. You know, this is this is my third indictment of a United States senator in, in, in over the last 40 years. But but it just it, it does it never never disappoints in Jersey and and hmm. and gold bars is just something brand new for the state. Let me talk about the list of possible replacements. You know it's interesting. Like we've talked a lot about a guy named Andy Kim, Congressman Andy Kim, who's running. But one of the interesting names is Tammy Murphy, who's the um, the governor's wife, who um, may or may not be running, but has certainly been been mentioned. Um, one of the other names that's come up is a Republican, Jeff Van Drew, who used to be a Democrat. So maybe a Republican would have a chance. And there are other members of Congress as well who have been mentioned. How, how do you see this race shaping up? Will all of those folks be in it? And, you know, does a Republican have a chance? Well, they won't all be in it. It'll, it'll, the field will narrow down. We don't know if Senator Menendez is running or not. He, he, uh, is insisting he will, but there's a lot of time between now and the filing day in March. I think Tammy Murphy's going to run, and I think she would be, uh, uh, if if anybody underestimated her, it would be to their own detriment. She is a a phenomenal fundraiser. Andy Kim uh, raised a million dollars in his first week. There was a poll out today uh, that shows that he would beat both Tammy Murphy and Bob Menendez. There's there's a lot of time, and and Jeff Van Drew. Uh, even though he's only been a Republican for a couple of years, Republicans really like him, and and he could be interesting. And I'll I'll, I'll tell you what I think the Democrats' biggest fear would be right now is if Bob Menendez says to the Democrats, you know, you guys all want me to resign. Murphy told me to resign. The party leaders, a bunch of U.S. senators, fine. I won't be a Democrat anymore. I'll run as an independent. Uh, he'd only need to get 15 percent of the statewide vote, and that would absolutely move New Jersey to the Republican column in the U.S. Senate. And I'll, I'll tell Could you, he do you that? Know, I mean, he had 5 percent in that poll we just showed. I mean, it's not like any—we've any, any talked to a lot of people, a lot of Democrats, and I don't, I don't know one person that's come on and, and publicly defended Bob Menendez other than Bob Menendez. So the, uh, the idea that he could run and get 15 percent, that, is that possible? Yeah, I think it is. I mean, he's got, he's got $8 million in the bank. Uh, you know, that that is of the last quarter. Uh, he, he is exceptionally popular uh, with Hispanic voters in the state. And I think he could he could certainly scare people. And, and maybe the goal is just that. Maybe the goal is to stay as relevant for as long as he can into 2024 so that people start looking at maybe New Jersey will cost Democrats the United States Senate. And maybe that'll get him a better deal with uh, with federal prosecutors. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.